Well, now the makers are hackers in the physical world again. And something else which came up on Twitter today was a reference to this, called the Home Sense Bike Map. This is a little Arduino-based hack that uses the data about the London Cycle Scheme and a little display of the locality to show which nearby bike racks have more than five cycles on them. So you can tell at a glance as you leave your house which way to go to pick up a London Cycle. You don't need to log on to anything, you don't need to get anything out of your pocket, you don't need to interface with anything. It just sits there, ideally on the wall, by the front door. You look at it, you move on. The technology serves your purposes instead of you having to figure out how to interface with the technology. And that return, if you like, to the real world after having this brief, brief sojourn in the virtual strikes me as a very important development and something that not only needs to be encouraged, but needs to be fully acknowledged. It's part of the growing understanding that we don't live in a digital world. That we were never going to anyway. But calling this a digital world or a digital age is just fool <coughs> because we are as located in the real as we ever were, as physical objects, bodies, engaging with other physical objects, people and things. And whilst most of the data we deal with on a day-to-day -day basis is now digital, ones and zeros, or has been at some time digital, every book you read, every newspaper you look at, every television program and film you see has had some form of digital processing, the world is not itself digital. It is a digital culture. This, of course, is something that musicians...